Hi YouTubers, Andre here from the DIY Bench. Um, in the first video, part one, I showed you the speed controller uh, for controlling AC loads. Um, I also discussed the different um, components uh, in the circuit that were like that I had to replace to make it work. Um, <clears throat> now in this video. I'm going to show you the speed control in action. Now, this is a home built bandsaw. Just going to show you. It's a little dark here, sorry for that. Um, I've got the motor that sits right down here. And as you can see, there's a fan belt, and I've got my bandsaw wheel. And the other one is hidden up there. Um, so, there's quite a load for the motor to overcome. Um, before it actually starts to run okay so I'm moving back to the front here um, you should be able to see the lights here so I'm just going to show you this is this this is the lowest speed now unfortunately for me because there is um, some loads to overcome like um, the bands or wheels the actual um, the blade um, the slowest speed is it just hums on that so the next speed is here and that is the lowest speed that this particular motor will start to turn um, I'm just gonna pulse it it's got a pulse um, button here and you can, and you can see there it goes and um, then you can go to the next speed right down to here and that is the fastest speed that the bandsaw will run. Now, one reason I built a speed controller um, is I want like a soft start. So this circuit sort of provides a soft start as well. So it doesn't just take off and run like hell. Um, so I'm gonna leave it on one there and I'm gonna press run. And you'll hear as the speed takes off. select the next speed and I'm going to press run and then I'm just going to go up to about here So I'm not going to go up higher than that speed. You can actually hear as the motor just takes off. There's no um, gradual increase of speed. And I can actually smell the fan belt as well. But um, yeah, so I mean the speed controller can really be used. This is ideal for band source if your band source running too fast. Or if you are a DIY guy like me and you're looking for like a soft start. It will work very well and then if you have a, a drill on a stand like this that I've got here um, I mean normally with these drills you, you, you just switch the, the fan belts to the different speeds but there's no reason you cannot put that speed controller um, on, 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 on a drill stand um, it will work actually perfect um, and you'll have so much, um, a lot more speeds that you can choose between if you, if you run your fan belts and your speed controller. So just again, just to show you, um, yeah, you select your speed here, with the maximum down here and the slowest down there. And like I said, mine just hums. Um, it'll only start on the next speed. Uh, and then you just press run and stop and then select your next speed. I'm sure you can select, uh, while it's running, you can just select another speed. 
um, but um, I've not tried that I will not try that either because it will definitely be a spike as you do that so yeah the circuit works very well and um, if you are looking for a soft start for an AC load for a ceiling fan this will work perfectly uh, for a normal a light then the circuit will definitely do the trick for you thank you very much guys cheers